All right, we are now able to jump around. We can move left and right. We have a video game in the making over here. For those of you that can already code somewhat, you are like, what is up with this mess going on inside the programming? Do not worry, we will be fixing things later and making things look better and using better programming practices. But for now, we are just trying to learn and trying to make things happen. That is okay. Anyway, next thing that we are going to be doing, the thing that we are doing today is building a camera system so that when I jump like this, my character doesn't just vanish and I don't know what's going on anymore because what fun is that? So let's make it happen. It's actually probably going to be, there's probably a pretty simple fix on this. We can take the main camera over here, put it on the player itself, go to the move tool, which if you guys remember is W, or you can click on it up here. And then we want it to be on the player somewhat here, angle to how we want it. Maybe even angle like this. And then, because it's uh, it's underneath the player's arrow over here, it actually just follows through. Ta-da! This is something that you really can't do inside the 3D world, by the way. Like, it's it just wouldn't work out. <laughs> but in the 2D world, it seems to work out pretty fine. By the way, you see over here, like, how these, like, uh, little lines are appearing in between the tiles and stuff. Like, almost like, you see how that's happening? That is a separate issue altogether, but I'm going to go on a quick little rampage about it. See, sometimes Unity doesn't perfectly get the pixel art that you are using. This is true for pretty much any rendering system, but especially, I've noticed the problem especially in Unity. So if we go to environment over here and I actually show you... So if we go all the way down to like where the tile set is that we used earlier, there we go. And I show you the sprite editor. See inside of here, sometimes they're grabbing around this into the transparency. And that's why you're seeing the light blue up here because it's the blue background. And when Unity can't perfectly get the size, they'll get the things around it as well. That's why you don't really see it happening on the background over there because that's all like connected inside the picture and you won't see it in between these things, right? Because they're all constantly grabbing from one another. Uh, but you will see it happen inside this tile set because you see how separated this is. What you want is a little bleed around your uh, pictures here, around your tiles, meaning that you basically have like just a little, like one or two pixels of extra like space around them. Or else you'll get that, that effect happening where things are just looking like loose. I can't really fix it inside of this system right now because I don't want to redo this guy's art or anything like that. It's just not worth it for a free thing I'm releasing, you know? Like, it's not worth it. It's probably not worth it for you guys for just learning either. But I just want to tell you what the fix is if you ever run into that problem in the future. Also, if you go to project settings, there's another thing that could be happening over here. So you want to go edit, project settings. I want you to be sure that this is the way that things are. If you go to quality... And you go to anti-aliasing if you have this enabled at all you'll actually run to that problem more often at least that's what people say of course it's not gonna oh there it goes of course it's not gonna happen like i was thinking there it goes you see how it's about as often as it was before right i don't know it might be a little worse i don't know everybody says that that makes it worse so just in case that's actually true you can just disable that if it's active on yours. It probably shouldn't be because you have it set on 2D, but if it is, that's what you want to maybe do. Some of the, this Unity is always going to be somewhat mysterious, people. Like, there's nobody that 100% understands this thing. All right, so we've gotten to this point. We can jump, we can run. We have a camera that's following us. Uh, we might want to do something different with it eventually, but for now, it's working. Remember, whenever you put something underneath here, what's happening, if we lock this so you can see, it, on this transform right here is it's moving it's not moving at all you see how it's like the same number here what happens if i move this it moves to the left to the right if i actually zero this why is it here and working like this well the player's transformed to moving but and so when i move left and oh i have that locked don't i so when i move it left and right in here the players is moving just fine you see how everything's moving there you see the transforms position moving why is the camera not Anytime you have something parented down like this, it's only counting relative to where the player is. So right now it's not moving at all uh, relative to the player. But if I move this, it's only re in relation to the player. Right now, same position as the player. Zero, zero, well, negative 10, because if you didn't have it there, things would be messed up. It's not away from like where the screen's happening. So like you can have it set up like this, right? Does that make sense? 
I hope it does. So now we have a moving camera. I think that's it for all that we need to do inside of this video. Uh, next time we're going to start talking about, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, we still need enemies. We still need coins. We need a collection system. We need to talk about the UI. We need to talk about getting a game over. We need to talk about maybe health. I'm not 100% sure yet whether we're going to do a health system or, or we're just going to have people die as soon as they uh, go down uh what happens when you fall off ledges i mean we got a lot of stuff that we still need to do but we are getting to the point where we have mostly a full video game oh and we also need to animate i totally forgot about animations uh animating is pretty important so we're probably gonna start on that next time breathe some life into this character thank you i'll see you next time bye